Okay. I'm up for a challenge. Good. Because these go to you. Special Agent Jennifer Drew, JJ, if you like. L. Greenaway. Highest number of solved cases in Seattle three years running. Specialty in sex offender cases. Not bad. Well, I'm the unit liaison. My specialty is untangling bureaucratic knots. You'll probably be talking to me a lot. My door's always open, mostly because I'm never in my office. So just call me on my cell, OK? We'll talk. Come on, Hutz. That was funny. Who are you? My friends call me JJ. Well, hello. hello. Sit down. Hello, JJ. You're not my friend. You can call me Jennifer. Ouch. <laughs> that was a nice touch brain in the hottie. You really want to know if there are others, don't you? I tell you what. Draw a book. You win, I'll give you another girl. So there are more. Do we have a bet? What if you win? I get to smell Jennifer's hair. No. Oh, come on. All she has to do is lean over and I get to smell her hair. No. I thought you wanted answers. Go to hell. It's okay, Hodge. You see that? It's okay, Hodge. You know how long it's been since I could actually play with someone? All I've had is solitaire. Cards? Two. I think I'll play these. What do you got? I got aces and eights, too, pair. <laughs> the dead man's hand. I should have had that, but then, of course, I would have lost. Straight to the jack. And then, unless the rules of poker have changed since I've been in here, you lose. Sorry. Full house. Aces over eights. Bang! You would have been so nice. But to answer your question, there are no other bodies. When I went to the doctor, he said that my injuries were minor. And you think if they were somehow worse, it'd be better? I don't know. I mean, look at me. Someone hands over a wallet at gunpoint. Everyone thinks that's the best thing to do. You did what you had to do to survive. Don't let anyone tell you different. All right? <laughs> Sorry, but I'm gonna have to ask you. Always have been. Don't talk about my daughter like that, all right? Don't. Right, that's enough. What is the matter with you people? This is exactly what he wants. He is attacking all of you. He's turning all of you against each other, and you're just letting him do it. Your daughters are best friends. And you all have known each other most of your lives as friends. Don't let this man beat you this way. What do you want us to do? Listen to these agents. All right, they came here to help. Let them do that. Agent Terrell, when you said that we all grew up together, something struck me. What's that? We all played football together. Don, Pete, even Chief Yates. We were all on the last championship football team. The championship games tonight. Do you know where Kelly Seymour is? Where's the water? Hodge, do you mind if I... No, please. Hi. 
Hi, Polly. My name's JJ. I grew up in East Allegheny, just right up the road. I was captain of the varsity soccer team my senior year. Got me a scholarship to Pittsburgh. Well, it's a pretty good school, but it's not exactly Penn State. I know that's where you're going because your mom told me. You know, your mom carried a picture of you all the way up to the FBI Academy in Quantico, Virginia, so that me and these agents here could help find you. And believe me, <laughs> she was not leaving until we said we'd come. So no matter what happened over the past six days, no matter what, this will all be a memory someday. But you will always have a mother that loves you that much. I want to show you a photograph, Polly. I want you to look at the men in the picture and tell me if you see the man that did this to you. Can't sleep. You can't imagine the pressure small town creates. It's play to win. Everyone pushing, everyone watching. I hated it. Why'd you play? Athletic scholarship was the only way I was getting to college. It's my only way out. Besides, having a thick skin when it comes to pressure is a good thing in this line of work, right? You did exceptional work last couple of days. Thank you. It's nice to be noticed. Yeah, we don't usually, do we? Yeah, it's all right. It's not why I do it. You ever thought about taking the classes, becoming a profiler? No. No. I admire what you guys do, but I like my role. I like being the, the person the family can turn to. Being the voice the poor, overworked homicide detective can call when he runs out of leads. Really? Yeah. I thought everyone wanted to be a profiler. Sorry. <laughs> That's all that. New cases. Ow! Oh, Another oh. one bites the dust. How'd you get so good at this? <laughs> well, I grew up, darts was like a national sport. Seriously? Yeah, we were too small for a bowling alley. Ah. Oh. Sorry, boys. You're gonna have to find someone else to humiliate you. Oh, okay. Thanks. Ask me any any question. Return to tomorrow. Hey. Hey there. The medic says that her victim's gonna be okay. I heard what you did in there. Your dad would be really proud. It's weird. Spent all this time focused on closing this case for him. And now it's over. Yeah. Thought I'd feel happy, but I just feel lost. Because you got to move on. Well, now you're leaving? How will I survive a woman like you going so far away? Well, despite what you may have heard, Cell phones can be very good for your health. 